Hello, thank you for joining us. Today we are denouncing Scientology, child trafficking, and abuse. Today we speak not only for ourselves, but for every child who has suffered in silence within the walls of Scientology. Our experiences were not childhoods. They were nightmares carefully crafted by a so-called church operating out of literal hotels. These places where our parents invested their money and trust offered not love and safety, but fear, abuse, and total enslavement. These hotels cloaked pretense of self-improvement were in reality hotbeds of systemic child abuse. Disguised as enlightenment through tortures, no child was ever of age to consent to. Let us be unequivocally clear. We are not messengers, representatives, or accomplices to the horrors we endured as children. The grooming, manipulation, and abuse were normalized by adults that were either too indoctrinated to see the truth or too complicit to care. These were not simply misguided parents. They were enablers. Led astray by the twisted doctrines of Elwin Hubbard, a convicted felon who built his entire empire on deceit and control. Harvard's teaching didn't just excuse this abuse, they glorified it, turning innocent children into fair game. The normalization of this abuse was insidious and pervasive. It wasn't just physical or emotional, it was psychological warfare, a systemic destruction of innocence. Adults should have been protectors, became enforcers, convinced Hover's perverse teachings that the trauma they inflicted was necessary and even beneficial. They fought his twisted doctrines with a zeal that blinded them to the real damage they were actively causing. As survivors, we refuse to carry the burden of their complicity. We reject the notion that their actions were justifiable or excusable. The pain and suffering inflicted upon us and countless other children were not the result of misguided love or tough discipline. They were the outcomes of a system designed to exploit and control us. Scientology thrives on secrecy and manipulation, silencing dissent and punishing those who dare to speak out. It preys on every child it and snares but we will no longer be silenced the horrific abuse we endured was not normal it was not deserved and it will not define us today we stand united to declare that the legacy of Scientology's systemic institutional child trafficking and abuse ends with us. We will not allow the crimes committed against us as children to shape the future. To all the children still strapped within Scientology's grasp, you are not alone and you are not powerless. The first step toward liberation is acknowledging the truth. To those who have escaped, speak out, share your stories and join us in dismantling the toxic legacy of a convicted felon 
who masked his criminality with false promises and disgusting, destructive doctrines. The cycle of abuse stops here. The truth will no longer be hidden. It's time to expose Scientology for what it truly is, a cult built on the suffering of children and the deception of their parents who put them in harm's way. It's time for those who survive to reclaim the lives and the voices lost at the threshold of a Scientology hotel just for being born. Thank you.